Today I'm making king prawn buna and I've got two packs of king prawn here which are already made. I wash them with cold water repeatedly. The following ingredients I'll be using two frozen cubes of garlic, green chilies I've sliced in half which is optional, you don't have to use them, coriander which I will use at the end, two large onions sliced, three teaspoons of chilli powder, two teaspoons of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoon of curry powder, two bay leaf, two teaspoons of salt, three tablespoons of oil. And that's everything you will need to make King Prawn Buna today. I mentioned to you guys about the King Prawn. As you've noticed, I've left the shells on. We like it with the shells. It gives it more flavour. However, I know many people don't like prawns with shells on. You can take them off and cook them the same way. So, let's get started. So I'm going to be using a pan for this with a lid. And I'm going to put the oil in now. So I'm putting the oil in and I'm going to let it warm up before I put the garlic in. And I'm just going to put both the garlic in. And give it a stir and continuously stir it until it becomes golden brown. So the garlic is golden brown, I'm going to add the onion and also the bay leaf. I'm also going to add the salt. Give it a good stir. And I will leave the onions for 10 minutes on a medium heat with the lid on. And in between, make sure you stir. So we're five minutes into cooking. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of water just to soften the onion. Give it a good stir and I will leave it in 10 minutes now. So the onions are ready and I'm going to put the green chilies in. And give it a stir and then leave it for a few minutes and then I'll add all the spices in. So now I'm going to put the spices in. And I'm going to add a little bit of water and give it a good mix and I will leave it in for a few minutes with the lid on. So the onions are ready now, I'm going to put the prawns in. Mix the prawns properly with all the spices and I'm going to put the lid on and leave the prawns for about 15 minutes in between, I will stir them every few minutes. It's been 15 minutes and as you can see, there's still quite a lot of water coming out of the prawns. So once the water has dried slightly, then you know the prawns are cooked. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave them in for another 10 minutes with the lid on and in between, I will stir the prawns. As you can see, the prawns are ready now, the water has dried up and what I'm going to do now is add boiling hot water from the kettle for the sauce. So I'm going to add the water in now, just a little bit, give it a good stir and I will leave it for 10 minutes for the water to thicken into a sauce with the lid on. And I will check on it. You can see the prawn buna is done and I've just turned off the heat. I'm going to add coriander now. King prawn buna is done and it looks delicious. My kids favourite to eat with rice. They love this. 